here we are at Sweeney's Creek bee removal. Suiting up again. Smoker's going. And um, got a couple of lovely little bee swarms. We've got two swarms in the one backyard. So this should be a reasonably easy one. See them all there. That's a little, little of the one. Uh, sorry, little of the two. And then a bigger swarm. Just in there. Which will be absolutely lovely. You're going to cut the branch off? Yeah. yeah. So the plan is, we're going to cut that branch off and just gently pick them up and then put them into there. Stragglers. Oh, didn't have to squash you, did I? <laughs> I'll just let them sit there for a minute and settle and I've already discovered the um, wax foundation in there. smoke is just to keep them calm and uh, to sort of get them to stay down in the box with a little bit of uh, condensation protection. Yeah, it's not very big. No. We'll just uh, smoke those ones on the corner so we don't squash too many of them. Give them smoke there. You always lose some bees. here. We'll keep an eye on that. If they start to make their way in, we definitely know we've got the queen in there. It looks like they're all trying to jam in. Just let them sit for a while. Wax? Yep, they would already started to lay wax down. Uh, worker bees are just amazing. They just can't sit still. They've got to, they've just got to get, get to work. Alright, that's swarm number one. Oh, you should feel the buzzing inside there. So we're going to use the same technique on this one. Uh, this swarm's a little bigger, so we'll probably use a full-size box rather than the nuke. So a, a nuke is a is a nucleus, so it's a it's only a half-size box. You can see the, that's how it's a skinny box. And if we get in there and have a look, you can see we've got that traffic jam, which is a good sign. That's an indicator that Queenie's in there and they all want to get in there with her. Not many bees flying around at all, so we've got a good chance of getting... You know, we always aim for 90-95%. And uh, a few bees trying to get into the vent holes, which is also a good sign that they're, they're detecting that queen pheromone in there. You're getting a bit of free um, pruning done too. <laughs> Whatever you have to do, just do it. <laughs> 
I just got to make sure he doesn't prune me fingers. <laughs> okay. I think you fellas have worked together before, but I'll give you up. So as you can see, we've just cut that branch off. Just dropped him into the middle there. Nice and gentle. If you can move them gently, bees will uh, stay fairly calm. Uh, unless they've got a nasty queen. <laughs> got this box the wrong way around at the moment. Oh, I've got to spin it around. So that's been two really successful catches. As you can see, there's just a few hanging around there trying to make their way in. We've definitely got well over 95% of the hive there. And this one, I'll go for a top down view. There's a, only a few bees there trying to get in too. That's probably 99% of the hive into that one. Sorry, 99% of the swarm. And just a few stragglers flying around. That's a good way to catch bees. Well, there you go, guys. And first for Sweeney's Creek Farm, two hives, one backyard. And um, very uh, accommodating. They stood on, stood on a branch, just cut them off, drop them in, and uh, they're now part of the farm. So be interesting to see how these go, guys go. That's six hives now. Just as well, I like honey. If you're enjoying the content, guys, don't forget, hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Share it out to your friends. Uh, get everyone to come in and join the family. Thanks, guys. Bye for now.